President Trump's nominee to head the CIA is its current acting director, Gina Haspel. She went before the Senate Intelligence Committee for her confirmation hearing this morning. As foreign affairs and defense correspondent Nick Schifrin reports, it was her involvement in one of the agency's most controversial activities after 9-11 that was front and center. If I am confirmed as For three director, decades, Gina Haspel couldn't talk about her tomorrow. work. Today, she had to defend it. I welcome the opportunity to introduce myself to the American people for the first time. It is a new experience for me as I spent over 30 years undercover and in the shadows. Haspel joined CIA in 1985 and has held at least 20 jobs, almost all clandestine. In the intelligence community, she's well respected, said Florida Republican Marco Rubio. To someone like you cannot be confirmed to head this agency, then who can? But the protest began before she even started. No to the CIA. Haspel's played pivotal roles in the agency's most controversial recent actions. After 9-11, CIA created at least six black sites for what was then called enhanced interrogation. Inside what are believed to be CIA-run buildings, detainees were subject to brutal interrogation techniques such as waterboarding, sleep deprivation, and confinement in coffin-like boxes. In 2014, Senate Democrats released a report saying detainees had been tortured and the techniques were not an effective means of acquiring intelligence. By then, the program had already ended. Haspel promised time. never to restart it. I can offer you my personal commitment, clearly and without reservation, that under my leadership, on my watch, CIA will not restart a detention and interrogation program. But Democrats wanted her to go further, California's Kamala Harris. Do you believe in hindsight that those techniques were immoral? Senator, what I believe sitting here today is that I support the higher moral standard we have decided to hold ourselves to. Can you please to. answer the question? Senator, I, I think I've answered the question. No, you've not. But Virginia's Mark Warner is the committee's top Democrat. We need to, I need to get, at least get a sense of what your moral code says about uh, those kind of actions. I support the higher moral standard that this country has decided to hold itself to. I would never, ever take CIA back to an interrogation program. Haspel is believed to have run a site in Thailand where Abd al-Rahim al-Nashiri, accused of bombing the USS Cole in 2000, was waterboarded. Where was that moral compass at the time? New Mexico's Martin Heinrich. When you're out in the trenches at far-flung outposts in the globe and Washington says, here's what we need you to do, this is legal, the attorney general has deemed it so, the president of the United States is counting on you so to I prevent know you another attack. It's legal. You're giving very legalistic answers to very fundamentally moral questions. In all of my assignments, I have conducted myself honorably and in accordance with U.S. law. As a candidate, President Trump vowed to bring the interrogation program back. I would bring back waterboarding, and I'd bring back a hell of a lot worse than waterboarding. What would you do if the president ordered you to get back in that business? I would not restart under any circumstances in an interrogation program at CIA, under any circumstances. Thank you. In 2005, Haspel was chief of staff to counterterrorism head Jose Rodriguez. In the middle of congressional and media scrutiny, Haspel wrote a cable for Rodriguez that authorized the destruction of videos showing CIA interrogation. Independent Maine Senator Angus King. Was it a matter of coincidence that you that this decision was made to destroy the tapes in the same week that two major stories appeared in American newspapers. Senator, I do not recall being aware of that. The CIA recently declassified a 2011 memo from then CIA Deputy Director Mike Morrell that found no fault with Haspel's actions. Arkansas Republican Tom Cotton came to her defense. Would holding you responsible for drafting a cable at your boss's direction make any more sense than holding a Senate speechwriter responsible for the boring speeches senators give on the Senate floor? Senator, I'll defer to you. <laughs> I would submit that it does not. Haspel tried to walk a fine line between criticizing torture without criticizing her colleagues who conducted it. Texas Republican John Cornyn said Haspel and her post-9-11 colleagues were being held to a double standard. People have simply forgotten the circumstances under which they were operating at the time and doing their dead-level best to protect um, the country from a, a follow-on attack. The committee is expected to approve her next week, but it's not clear if she'll be confirmed by the entire Senate.